Ladies and gentlemen, presenting selections of history of Juju music. Bye-bye.
man in Tugani. My body mean day, my body mean day, Mole Jelano. My body mean day, my body mean day, Mole Jemino. My body mean day, my body mean day, Mole Jelano. And I fell out more, oh man in Tugani. And I fell out more, oh man in Tugani.
And the second, Elemu, are compositions and tunes of Togo Lawson, a minstrel, and one of the pioneers of Juju music. These songs were accompanied by the tambourine alone when they were played by Togo, and he never recorded them. The third song, Owombo. The fourth, Padalaimi, and the fifth, Ututu Kimeja, are the songs associated with Irewolede Denge, who, before forming a combo, was another very popular Lagos minstrel and also a pioneer of the Juju music. These songs were accompanied by the rectangular samba drum alone when they were played by Dengue. Lagos, the capital city of Nigeria in West Africa, originally inhabited by the Yoruba settlers, was full of minstrels before and by the 1900s. In the morning, afternoon, and mostly the evening time, they were seen everywhere. They were popular, not just because of their music, but because of the wordings of their songs that carry messages. As they went about the streets, people always ran out of their houses to listen to their songs of spirit, poetry, morals, name praising, philosophy, protest, and love. In a way, they subconsciously became educators and moral promoters to decent human society because people learned and acted from their songs. Around 1900, with the tambourine or samba drum, a new music out of the many existing ones and without any particular name to it started with the Lagos minstrels. Two most popular among the minstrels around this time and right through the 1940s were Togo Lawson, who was an offspring of a Togolese father and an Ijebu mother and who sang accompanied by the tambourine and Irewolede Denge, an Ijebu Yoruba guitarist who sang and played the samba drum. Some of their songs, but not typical 
of their musical accompaniment are the first five numbers on this chronicle. A decade after this music surfaced, some of the minstrels, copying examples of some Lagos established musicians, started to perform as duos and to form combos. Among reasons for these were social demands and the easy availability of guitar and other string instruments now stocked by large trading firms and stores run by local merchants which were once rare commodities. Shekere, the god rattle, and the following string instruments, guitar, banjo, ukulele, and mandolin, added to the tambourine or samba drum, were used in playing the music. In the 1930s, more instruments like the tom-tom and cymbals were added to the existing ones in playing the new music and in this decade, the music was christened Juju through the efforts of Tunde King, who defined a set pattern for playing the music and who established the number of the players. An original 1936 recording of Tunde King called Oba Oyibo is the following number. <laughs> Juju music progressed with diverse sounds of ganga drums and cowbell, and the next two numbers, Sisi Tofi Joshua and Bebangwawa, are typical of the sound of the time, but minus the keyboard, the bass guitar, and the conga drums, which later came into the music. <laughs> Ebi mi lo fi mi fun Iya mi lo fi mi fun 
Olowoko lowo following decade were years of imported competitors. There was Sun or Sunsonet, popularly known as the GV, its serial designation from Cuba, with the success to Habanero playing Miguel Metamoro's compositions. There was the Calypso from the West Indies, and there was the Boogie Woogie from the United States of America. Examples of the three are the following starting with the sun music from Cuba. Thank you. 
beg you to leave me. I'm going back to my country. I'm tired with London. I can't hear the steel band beating in Janjan. I'm getting homesick. I'm feeling sad. I want my passage and I'm going back to Trinidad. So, darling, Nora, Nora, Nora. Why don't you leave Lord Kitchener? Started a crying when she heard that Pete she was leaving. These are the things the lady promised me: a Rolls Royce car, a father property, butter. I told her, well, darling, money no love doesn't mean anything. I have to go home and don't sleep. I have to take up my duties in Vincent Street, so darling. Nora, 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 I beg you to leave Lord Kitchener. Nora, 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 sing or float, I gotta see me grandfather. Nora. An Ivan threatened to kill me then. She jumped to my collar, stamping her feet and calling for mother, brother. I told her quietly, darling, my mind is made up already. I'm very sorry, I can't remain. I have to go to the city of Border Spain, so darling. Nora, Nora, Nora. I beg you to leave Lord Kitchener. Nora, Nora, Nora. I want to go home to see my grandmother. She played a trick on the Lord Kitchener. Me clothes in the laundry, she has the tickets hidden secretly. But I use my discretion, I rent a suit in leaving position. I wave my hand and told her, I owe on the flying Dutchman to be a go so darling. Nora, Nora, Nora. I beg you to leave Lord Kitchener. Nora, Nora, Nora. Sing go float, I want to see me grandfather. Nora, Nora, Nora. Darling, what is your intention? Nora. In the 1940s, the introduction of electronic amplification caused the use of electric guitars to render nearly obsolete all of the juju music's former string instruments. Also, more instruments like bongos and cleaves were added in the playing of the music. These caused expansion in the number of players and band size became reduced a lot. Folk songs were now more used in the music and typical are the following two numbers, Eminyaluka Shinoro and Yawodara Okpo. Eni yano kesi noro, eshi kuni kadi. Eni yano kesi noro, 
Competitors of Juju music around this time included Konkoma from Lome and the Gold Coast, now Ghana. And the following is an example. When two more instruments, Agidibu and Maracas, were added to the playing of the music, a near demise nearly came to it. A new music called High Life drowned Juju in popularity. Following is a sample of the High Life music. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oh, 
In the 1960s, Juju bounced back. Introduction of accordion into it rejuvenated it. The innovator, Mr. I. K. Dairo, was awarded the British honorary title of MBE, member of the British Empire. Typical of the sound of the music is the following number, Ma Sofun Ubi by J. A. Adedeji. Juju borrowed from the high life music and incorporated in it the high life style, thereby giving a new sound to Juju. The most popular artist of this innovation is Dele Ojo, who reigned as the top Juju artist for nearly three quarters of this decade. A popular number of the time and of his is the following number, Eninyo Biakbaru.
in the 1970s, some instruments were eliminated, some were added, and some invariably used. Two most important that were added were organ and the drum set. In the battle for leadership, two artists by a long stretch outdistanced the countless others. Ebenezer Obe first surged forward, but thunder from Sonny Ade roared louder by his many innovations. He brought in organ, which was short-lived, but later came back to make it big and also added drum set. Not only that, he added sideshows and theatrics. In the 1980s, Sonny Ade also introduced slide guitar into the music. Following is an excerpted sample. Handedly, Sonny Ade also brought the Juju music into international prominence by taking his act overseas and winning great critical acclaim. As a prediction, it won't be long when horns will be brought into Juju music. Juju has come a long way. This is T. Ajayi Thomas saying, so long now. I don't know who's so beautiful. I don't know who's so beautiful. 